Good morning all. Monday morning. We are here in Monroe, New York. This is a 1890 home. Nice woman inside. She's been pretty politically corrected in this town forever. I actually think she was born in this home. She knows everyone. So, as you can see, some some things to figure out here. I have a Mason dump truck over in the Monroe Temple parking lot that school's gonna begin soon. So we've gotta get that out of there. So right now we're just gonna offload the excavator. Uh, we'll bring that in first, then Craig will back the trailer in. Uh, or we'll bring Big Red in and I'll dig into the back of it. I don't know, still haven't figured it out. So there's the vent pipe you can see in the back right there fill pipe is right where those reflectors are so it's gonna run that way so I'll probably sit here and then dig like that come over cast the uh, overburden into the truck or we'll lay it on the on plastic on the ground but before I do that I'm gonna back in here and rip this bush out level this area because this is where her new tank is gonna go all the way in the back, nice and hidden. And she's got the door open now. With all the cups. All right, so I guess this is how we'll kind of sit right here. Pull these one, two, three bushes out. And we'll stockpile the overburden there. That's not going to be a problem. Got the pad set up. The tank is in. Here's our problem. It's a 131-year-old home. We got to get our return and suction in. This right here, I'll show you inside. Can't go through that. We put a hammer drill on that, it starts to vibrate. Stuff happens that you don't want to have happen, you can't repair, you don't want to deal with it. So, we're going to go through here, but as you see, when we go inside, this is a rock. That's pretty much. The room so we're gonna have to try to get Craig inside that without breaking it we'll drill through run the line over and then come through the wood here because as you can see we're not touching that I wonder what that is looks like they had a hole right here and just shoved a bottle in there and concreted around it I guess that's pretty cool because in the case of an emergency you break and have a hole so this will be a good one. like Craig was successfully but he did that real quick because he didn't want to see us watching him climb in so I get that it would have made for good content though I have to go in again where's our light bro oh so you haven't um right here. 
Oh, there it is right here. Nice job. So we'll just fasten that all. Brings it through there. We'll cook that. We'll bring it all fastened. Boy, he did that quick. We're installing a tiger loop here. Correct. That's a good choice. So we'll do that. This whole copper line right here that goes. Can I see the light? That copper line right here. We'll cut that on both ends. Craig will use the push pull pump. We'll blow it clean, chip out below it, and then we'll concrete it. We'll fill it. Uh, so there's no evidence of that underground tank. Not because we're trying to hide it, because we're legally decommissioning uh, the old system. Which looks like she's got some issues right there. Okay. This is pretty cool. 130 years. It's no historical. Um, she's telling me that back in the day, I think she said she was born in this house, uh, but back in the day, all these homes on this road, she said we're all doctors. So that's about the most historical value I can get you uh, with regards to this. But Craig got it through. I thought that was going to be a little more difficult. We move on. It's not gonna go. Gonna have to cut the edges a little bit, all right? That's fine. You can pull it out just like that, right? We don't need yeah, I can. Yeah, we're good. All right. And we're gonna pump the rest of that into the uh, poly drum. Look at the sludge. She thinks this tank went in in 1940. 81 years. Mike's gonna enjoy cleaning that one. Is, you can tell this tank is the older style and this here is probably a 9 to 10 gauge steel tank that's saying they don't make things like they used to well this is case in point right here this tank 80 year old tank that's the bottom of it and you can tell it's another 80 years to go if I knew this tank did not leak uh, so that's why I didn't have a problem pulling it out while well, I had a little bit of product in it. Normally we never do that, but we, you can see clearly how thick it is. And Michael just finished cleaning this up. It's pretty thick though, huh? Yeah. Okay, just called the, uh, the village of Monroe, 1145 inspection. It's about 1118 right now. So this is a, uh, is a rock solid tank. These 550 gallon tanks, they're probably 600 pounds normally. Uh, this tank's about 800 pounds, so. It's just kind of impressive back in the day versus the new tanks that are going in. They're 12 gauge steel. Took a couple of scoops at the bottom. 0, 0.00 on the PID meter. Just a quick shout out to Craig Amnot, my doctor. Good job giving me the shots in my neck. No pain, pain free for a little while, but we'll be back, doc. Tank set in place, it's full. 
It's an easy job. Craig is doing a tiger loop install here. Come on down here and see how he's doing. Looks good. That's the line goes up and over, as you guys saw before. We're killing it today. 1118. Got 11:45 inspection. Craig's not really talkative. There you go. Once he bled it, it's oil going into the tiger loop, and it just fired. There you have it. Mike has cut that line off and we'll chip the concrete out a little bit and then we'll put some cement over it. Craig's got to go inside there to caulk the lines from the inside and then we'll go to the outside and we'll caulk it from the outside in. We'll also remove these lines right here. Tie those lines, support them to the joist with those rubber grommet fasteners. So any vibration, the homeowner doesn't feel upstairs. You can hear that burner is running smooth now. We'll start to take these out. Backfill compacted, nice topsoil there. We'll see if she wants some seed. That little flying disc of plants will slide in the center of that to symmetrically just pull it all off in the end. Craig's raking these uh, a little bit of rut. This, this stuff will pop right back. Got the seed in there. Tanks finished, completed. We're just banging this stuff out. It's 12.15. I think we've seen this already. Uh, that line's caulked, comes over. All those fasteners right there, they've got that rubber grommet on the inside. So when the line vibrates, they don't feel it upstairs in the joists. Tiger loop, it's working. Another successful uh, job. I'm gonna write the bill up. She sits on the planning board here in Monroe. So she's very happy with the work. It came out good, right? Yeah. Look at that soil. Good, it's nothing but the best for you. I should bag it up. Nothing, well, there you go. Nothing but the best for you. Thank you. What, say that again. What a wonderful job. Beautiful. Thank you so much. And there's her tank. So we'll just finish this all up. This was a fun one. As always, folks, it's another fine job by Tank Masters Environmental. Got an underground tank? Give us a call. Craig, thanks again.